Let's talk about what's going on across the tropics and of course Tropical Storm Barrow, our second named storm system of the 2024 Atlantic hurricane season out here. And you know, it's not just Barrow. We do have another area out uh, just uh, towards the Yucatan Peninsula. So it's a moderate chance of development in the Gulf of Mexico and behind Barrow, just off the coast of Africa, we do have another area which I think has a higher chance of development right in its wake. But let's concentrate on this storm system, which is expected to move off towards the west, becoming a hurricane possibly this weekend before moving right over Barbados, the Windward Islands as well as a category one to category two storm system could uh, bring some rough weather there and eventually moving out over the Eastern Caribbean, moving just south of Hispaniola past Jamaica, where it could have some land interaction, a bit of increasing shear, but still a likely hurricane for our friends across uh, this area here into the Western Caribbean. And beyond that, there are still questions about where it could go eventually maybe out towards the Gulf of Mexico. But right now, let's talk about what is happening with it. We still have that circulation trying to wrap up outflow aloft, but there is that dry air just north of it. At least that should stem some rapid intensification. And do remember this time of year, the main formation region, very unusual to have storm systems out here, especially ones that would intensify up to hurricane status. So it does have some things working against it, but as more so going for it, including that outflow aloft, the warm sea surface temperatures as this runs west along the southern periphery of the Bermuda high here. So pretty good confidence that it is going to move towards the west. You're not expecting a recurve out of this uh, at all, but moving right over the Lester Antilles south of Hispaniola. You can see some of that moisture interaction with the mountains. They're probably going to be seeing some pretty decent precipitation from Puerto Rico over towards Hispaniola and then eventually right over Jamaica. Now beyond that, yeah, there is still questions in that extended forecast. Here's another look using the uh, GFS model, the global forecasting system, kind of giving you an idea as this passes right over uh, Barbados and the Windward Islands and eventually off here uh, towards the west, towards Jamaica. And then in its wake, that other area I mentioned could develop uh, as well. So you could get a one-two punch for the Lesser Antilles, uh, which once again, unusual for this time of year. Here's a look at some of our higher resolution models, kind of giving you an idea. Barbados right there kind of sticks out of the uh, Windward Islands, passing just south, so that would put them right in the right front quadrant if this guidance does continue uh, to follow through. And then passing south of Puerto Rico, Hispaniola, and eventually out there towards uh, just south of Cuba. Could impact the Yucatan Peninsula, maybe turn towards the north, maybe weaken overall just due to increase of vertical wind shear. There's a lot of questions here, but we do know is that sea surface temperatures definitely warm enough to support uh, tropical systems. But as I mentioned, that shear areas in red indicating favorable shear for in development. Right now it's in that, but you see here by next Thursday and the next Friday. So we're looking still five, six days out. It gets into these areas in blue and that is more unfavorable for tropical development. So that could cause a little bit of a weakening. Once again, still a lot of uncertainty beyond the five days. But if you have any friends, you know, family, maybe out here into the uh, Eastern Caribbean, Make sure they're watching this one uh, closely as we look ahead for our second name storm system of the year, Tropical Storm Barrel. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta. Make sure you check out firstcoastnews.com for more information on this storm.